just want to show you what the eggs look like for the smaller cabbage white. That's one, that's two, that's three. I think that's one before there. Can you see them? These yellow dots that sort of stand up. Can you see that they are so sort of just stuck there. Stuck. There we go. There's a caterpillar at every stage. Oh, one's rolling away. They're so different and grow at different speeds. The only way that you know whether they're going to cocoon anytime soon is by measuring them. Because you can work out when they might cocoon and at what stage they are. Because as well, they all molt. They molt their skin and they do that four times. So you can sort of tell at what stage and how many times they've molted the skin by how big they are. They're fast. But these guys are going in their new home. Go. Here until they are ready. I find that tearing a bit of card makes like a really, really fine, um, non stabby pointy bit. I find it's the easiest way of moving them about. If you've ever walked in a forest, you sometimes see them dangling from the trees by the web. Not these, this type of butterfly, these are obviously cabbage butterflies, but you can sometimes find other butterfly, well, other caterpillars, sorry, um, in forests dangling from trees. I'm all too familiar with the web to the face. This guy doesn't want to come in. How cute! How big's this guy? It's gonna stop now. It's so cute. Seven centimeter. Not seven centimeter, seven millimeter. Thinks I can't see it. Sorry, little guy. I'm not fooling you. This one's stupidly clever. Look at this one. You are too clever, aren't you? So where's she gone? Where's she gone? Oh, fooled ya. No, you're not going to get off here, are you? <laughs> Why is that all of them? That's poop. Oh, I've just made one caterpillar too. No, that's poop. My white cabbage butterflies, all like all the, these other little eggs. The, the butterflies. I actually watched the butterflies lay the eggs on the leaves, and then I've pulled it up with the root, so that the plant doesn't die too quick. And then they hatch, and there's a little caterpillar there. I don't know if you can see it. Tiny. And there's some more eggs. I've got loads. They eat really quick. So I need to give them some leaves like these every single day. It's okay, I've got loads of cabbages that I don't need. Look how big they are. This is only like a couple of days growth. Gussie! Where's my Gussie girl? Where's Gussie gone? Boom, there you are. <laughs> it's caterpillar clean out day. This is the first time I've cleaned them out. So I'm going to be beautiful butterflies. And this is all their poop. All these little round green bits are all poop. They make a mess. They've eaten quite a lot of uh, lettuce, bit of lettuce, cabbage.
just trying to show you how they're attached. They attach themselves. They sort of attach themselves. Can you see this? They attach themselves at the base here. And they also have this silk like string. You can just make out here one that fell out. Can you see this like string there? It's like a band that they put around themselves to stop themselves like falling off. Because obviously they've got to survive through winter. So they don't want to be falling off onto the floor and getting squished or buried under snow. So if, can, if I just catch this one, it's going to twitch. Right? You can see it there. You can see this band holding it on. It's different from the peacock, uh, painted lady butterflies. The painted lady butterflies, um, the chrysalis is attached there and right on the end. It's like, no, I remember it. It's only one point, isn't it? The painted, painted lady ones are only attached on the end. They're not attached anywhere else. Whereas these attach on the end and in the middle. Are you helping baby girl? <laughs> I just want to show you that this one here, I don't know if you can see it, it's already started to turn into a chrysalis. A chrysalis. These are more caterpillars at the moment, but they are all getting ready to change. That's what they're going to change into. You can see that this one is still shedding, and the last part that sheds is the head. And here is another head that's shedded, or shed. Some more. They shed four, four times altogether. This one's still doing it. See, this one's only just finished. And that one's still, that was only just starting. I've removed them from the cardboard because last night we had loads of rain and the cardboard's starting to go mouldy because it had uh, somehow managed to get into their tank. So I have to um, move things around a little bit. Still a caterpillar eating, look. A lot of them have cocooned already. See underneath that ledge. So I need to. I need to get all these out because these butterflies won't actually emerge until next year now. So I need to find somewhere nice and safe and dry for them. Um, I'm thinking the shed. I might stick them in the outside toilet to be honest. It'll be alright, nice and dry. I've just managed to bring this one down a little bit. And you can see the web. See it? It's created a web to hold it. This is one of the smaller cabbage white butterflies. I believe these ones are the smaller cabbage butterflies. And I'm not quite sure about this one. I think this one's um, just a different stage. It's obviously been going a bit longer. Some beautiful white butterflies. Let's put them in here. Definitely out of the rain. I don't know if these ones actually swapping around. So these ones are healthy. I know these ones are healthy. These ones aren't too bad. But we'll see. And then these guys are still eating. So I need to go get them some food. And I need to put them back in the big tank.